Hello friends, welcome to Oracle Land, a realm of programming in Oracle. In this YouTube channel, we will be learning Oracle database programming and SQL and VLA SQL. So basically, in this chapter, we will be learning about the PLA SQL fundamentals. Uh, PLA SQL is a procedural language extension of uh, SQL. So basically, PLA SQL is being used in Oracle database to perform a task that cannot be executed or performed by the SQL. This chapter of uh, PLA SQL fundamentals will be covering PLA SQL and introduction and evolution of the PLA SQL, its advantages, PLA SQL architecture, language fundamentals, and some practitioner's guide along with the error codes and some advices while doing PLS code programming. So basically we start with the PLSQL introduction. PLSQL is a procedural language extension of SQL. It is introduced by the Oracle to overcome some, li some limitations in SQL and to provide a more complete programming solutions. It is a highly structured, readable and accessible language and also a standard and portable language for Oracle development. It is an embedded language. It can run on PLSQL programs from within the database or as a client-side PLSQL in the forms and reports. It is a highly performance-tuned, highly integrated database language as compared to other choices like Java, JDBC, and Visual Basics. So basically, it is used in the uh, programming languages more efficiently. Uh, now we have an evolution of the PLSQL. It was first released in 1992 it was developed based on the ada ada and uh, it is started with oracle 6 now this slide contains various versions of the oracle along with their features introduced in each plsql version this continues in this manner Now talking about the advantages of the PLSQL. PLSQL is a tight integration of SQL. So we can use PLSQL inside the SQL and vice versa. It is also a high performance language and it has high productivity based on designing and debugging time. It has high portability. Basically you can portable uh, port any data uh, any PLSQL port from one development environment to any other development environment very easily. It is also a very highly scalable language and it is being maintained by the database server and uh, rather than a copy of each client system. Support of object oriented programming. PLSQL now supports object oriented design patterns as well. So these, these are all the advantages of PLSQL. Now talking about the PLSQL architecture. PLSQL architecture can be divided into three parts basically plsql block plsql engine and database server plsql blocks can be divided into uh, three parts basically first one is the declarative section then we have the execution section and then the exception handling section plsql engine is the engine that is used by the oracle server to execute or parse the plsql statements Database server is nothing but a database that is under which the PLSQL code are executed. Now we will talk about PLSQL block in further detail. A PLSQL block is a meaningful block that is the most tiny uh, meaningful uh, group of code inside a plsql code it is further divided into three parts the header section the declaration section and the execution and the exception section header section is basically used to name the block and to very uh, to declare the variables then we have a declaration section in which all the cursors are declared then we have a begin block in which all the executable section is written execution code is basically written in the begin block then we have an exception section in this block we will be having the codes that will be executed once an execution uh, exception is raised by the codes 
that are that are executed in a begin block the overview of the standard pls block header section declaration execution and exception section now there are two type of blocks first one is anonymous block anonymous block is a block that has uh, no name that is there is no header section in that then we have a name block name block are those blocks that are having names in that these are further divided into two parts first one is procedure and second is function procedures are mainly used to perform tasks related to dml operations function are related to functional programming like uh, calculations and all that will return a value based on the parameters part to the function now this slide contains how to write a first pls kill code as this is an anonymous block you will see that there is a declaration section where we have declared the variable now there is a execution block in which we have written a executable code this part is the execution block now we have an exception section in which we have written up execution uh, those codes that are executed once an exception is reached in case so this is a anonymous block because it does not contain any name now we have a name block name block are basically of two types first one is procedure and second one is function this slide contains the creation of procedure procedures are created uh, using the command create or replace procedure first if you use the create only then it will only create and then if you try to create the same procedure with the same name then it will throw an error so basically we generally use create or replace command in, in place of create command so in this also apart from the name there is a there are parameters and then there is there are uh, declaration section then execution section then exception block so how to call a procedure this block shows that this is a anonymous block in which we are using a parameter that will be when we are declaring a parameter that will be used to pass as an argument in the named block demo named procedure so it will uh, call uh, call the procedure named with named block demo and then whatever the parameter value is set in this out param it will be printed using the dbms output dot put underscore line so this this is basically the explanation of what i have just shown you on the previous slide uh, it contains the line wise details of the plsql block that i have just shown you you can have a look at that as well or you can take a screenshot to uh, to get it later now we have a nested block nested blocks are basically those blocks that means these are nested one block inside the other as you can see that we are declaring a procedure inside that we have an another declare declare section that is having its own begin and end block that is execution block and exception ending as well so this is a kind of nested block this part is the nested part and this is the main block inside that there is a nested block so this is in this case this is a nested block the more uh, the most important thing that we need to consider about the nesting is that the scope and visibility of the variables very different differently based on the uh, scope of the outer block so basically in that in this case as you can see that grand total is a variable that is declared in the main block but is accessible in the nested block but this subtotal variable is declared in the nested block this cannot be accessed in the main block so this is the scope and visibility rules that are common based on the programming language of oracle so you need to practice on that as well so i think that is enough for this slide for this video we'll be covering rest of these slides in the next video hope you are enjoying this learning in case you have any doubt you can put a comment in the comment section don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share the videos thank you